Hello, hello vlog people. <clears throat> Today is Saturday, April 28th, 2018. And I just wanted to tell you that we found a puppy. She is a miniature golden doodle. And I don't know what her name is, but she's female. And she is from a breeder, unfortunately. Well, I mean, fortunately, unfortunately. Um, actually, today we went to an adoption event. And a lot of those adoption events um, need vet references. And I don't have one. And actually, my mom is in the process of switching vets. And, you know, it was just a lot. And then actually, I saw a dog today with either a bite mark from fighting or a bullet hole or something and that was kind of a lot I was like oof I don't know that's kind of scary you know what I mean and then my mom really didn't want a pit bull and then that was most of what was at the event and like yes we could have gone to other things but pit bulls are what you're gonna mostly find and you know I annoy my mom about a lot of stuff and we fight about a lot of stuff and you know 99% of the service dogs come from breeders. And I've had a friend who has gotten, like, four prospects from a shelter already. And they keep washing out every single time. Because you don't know anything about that dog. I mean, you know, I just... And, you know, theoretically, yes, this dog could probably wash out too. But I specifically pick this breeder because when I talked to them, they said that a good percentage, probably 85% of their dogs go in to be service animals. And I was like, great. Um, so it's actually in Pennsylvania. Um, and it's actually the same litter that my brother is getting a dog from. So not only is my sibling getting a dog, getting a dog, but that dog's sibling is going to be my dog. So they're going to be siblings too. Um, so that's going to be fun because we're going to road trip together and get the dogs together. Um, and, you know, it's going to be a lot. I said that I didn't want a puppy because puppies bite and whatever and they chew things up. But, you know, I mean, theoretically, I could have come home with a shelter dog and it it bite things and it mess it up and you know the shelter dog could come with baggage that you know a puppy necessarily doesn't have and like I'm only a 21 year old person a female you know I don't know if I can deal with all of that you know because dogs feed off your energy so if I'm nervous then this rescue dog is going to be nervous you know what I mean and, I mean, you know, breeder dogs are going to be nervous too, but, like, you know, if I get the puppy at eight weeks, which I am, you know, I have more time to work with it rather than a dog that's, like, two years old and, um, you know, set in its ways. And you, know, and, you know, that doesn't mean that I didn't try with the whole rescue thing. I mean, I looked on websites. I followed rescues for months. I still follow rescues. And, you know, it just happened that this was right here. You know what I mean? Like, and it just happened that this dog was the last dog left in that litter. And it just happened to be that my dad spoke to my mom and they talked about it. Or my mom spoke to my dad and they talked about it. And it just happened to be that everything just fell into place like this. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to be sad that I couldn't get a rescue dog. Because it's not like I didn't try. Um, and I would respect that you people, like, let me have this journey. Because, like, more more people were actually talking me out of the whole rescue thing because of the temperament of the dogs and because you don't know anything and because they could be crazy and, you know, you don't know their temperament and, and you know, most of them are kind of a bit older and, you know what I mean? And, like, I don't know if it's just up here in Connecticut because I know um, 
Dominique from um, Service Dog Paws lives in like Arkansas or Alabama or something. And I know that my friend Annie, um, Symptomatically Annie on Instagram, um, underscore, Symptomatically underscore Annie on Instagram. Um, she's from Texas. And like, they just picked up shelter dogs like so easily it seemed like like she went there one weekend and she got her like that I'm like I mean unless she went to the same shelter those all four times I mean I don't know um but you know people just down south seem to just get dogs so much easier than we do up here and I I don't know because like my thing is is like why would we need an application for a rescue dog like I'm not gonna abuse it. Like, I'm not one of those people, like, and if people were gonna wake up one day and abuse the dog or something, like, wouldn't they just, um, like, buy it or something? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, I don't think you go to a rescue shelter with the idea of doing that. Like, there may be some sick people out in the world, but it's not me. You know what I mean? Like, so, I don't know. Like, that really turned me off, because it's like, I don't have a vet. Like, it's not my vet. And my friend was like, well, yeah, but, like, you're probably going to go to the same vet as your mom. And I said, maybe not. Maybe I'll find one of those mobile vets or something that could come see my dog because I am disabled and, you know, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, who knows? You know? I don't know. Hey. I'm getting a puppy, you know that? We're getting a puppy. You're going to have somebody to play with, finally, because Maddie doesn't like to play with you. What do you think? What do you think about that? What do you think? Are you excited? It's going to be a little baby girl. You're going to have to teach her some stuff, okay? Can you teach her how to use the bell to go potty? Because you taught yourself that. You teach her how to sit and stay, right? She's going to help me, huh? You think? She's going to finally get to use all those toys. You want a puppy? Because we're getting one. Yeah, we are. We're getting a puppy. We're getting a puppy. We're getting a puppy. Beep. Beep, beep. Good boy.